Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. I'm excited for this video. It's time to check out the new Nintendo Switch. This is the OLED model, something I wish the original model had, so it's nice to see Nintendo making an upgrade. I actually pre-ordered this and got it on Friday. I just haven't had time to open it up, so it's been sitting in the corner of my office just waiting to be opened. So we're gonna unbox the new Nintendo Switch, take a quick look what comes inside, and then of course, get some hands-on. Let's get started. Here is the OLED Nintendo Switch, and if you didn't believe I was very excited to open this up, I actually accidentally cut a little bit too hard when I was uh, cutting the tape on the shipping box. But anyways, this has a 7-inch OLED display, so a little bit larger screen, however, the same resolution, so 720p display. Now opening it on up, and as you can tell, I will compare it to the other, the older Nintendo Switch in just a second. Now let's go ahead and see what we get inside. It does come with an HDMI cable to connect the dock to a TV monitor. Also our charging brick, which does not disconnect, and it is a USB Type-C charger. You have your Joy-Con grip to connect your Joy-Cons and the straps as well. Also the dock, and if you haven't already guessed, I did get the black and white model, so this is the back of the dock, just plain white. On the front says Nintendo Switch there. Uh, on the left side here, you've got two USB-A ports, and then on the right side is a slot for, ooh, I'm sorry, I didn't think that actually disconnected. <laughs> And on the back, an Ethernet port, HDMI out, an AC adapter, and you can route your cables through the side slot here. And before we get to the console, here is the black and white Joy-Cons. Honestly, feels the exact same as the older Nintendo Switch. We'll compare them in just a second. And finally, what you came to see, the OLED Nintendo Switch. Now, a little bit different on the back. This is actually a full kickstand, so this was a much needed upgrade. And notice how much further back this kickstand is going to go. So the angle uh, has a lot of different options. And also this kickstand does feel very sturdy. It will hold its place very well depending on which angle you choose. Underneath that kickstand is your micro SD card slot up to two terabytes of storage and your USB-C port for charging and flipping it over up towards the top. You've got your power button, volume rockers. Moving along, you've got a headphone jack, but you can also connect wireless Bluetooth headphones now, which even the old Switch has that feature via a software update. Kind of sad it took them so long to do that. And anyways, a game card slot for all of those non-digital games you buy. As promised, a quick comparison with the Joy-Cons, and like I said, the exact same as the old model. And a look at the consoles themselves, a little bit larger screen. However, the body is fairly similar in size. The OLED Switch is maybe a little bit larger overall, but much less bezels on the screen. Anyways, I'm going to run through the startup process, connect our controllers to the Switch, and talk about anything that is noteworthy. Setup is complete. Honestly, nothing crazy in the setup process. Just connected to Wi-Fi, signed into my Nintendo account, and honestly, that was just about it. So let's press the home button. Here we are, all ready to go. I have not installed any games, obviously. I do have my Nintendo account up there. Now let's jump into some of these settings. Looks like out of the box, you get about 54.9 gigabytes. Uh, you can add specific users to it. There's different themes if you want basic black, which is going to look really nice on an OLED screen, as you can probably already tell, that looks really good. If you're looking for the Bluetooth audio setting, it is right there, and going into system settings, you can update, update the dock separately. I did just put a game into the cartridge slot, but let's jump into the Nintendo eShop. Yes, this is still a full touch screen, if you're interested in that, and also, Drop a comment. Let me know if there's any specific games you think I should check out, any new ones that have come out. Here's some featured ones here. Uh, and also keep in mind the screen. You'll see uh, just some shifting in the colors and such. That's not actually happening in real life. That's just the camera picking that up. But anyways, let's go back home and open Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe and just get a tiny bit of gameplay in. And while this loads up, I want to make note in the dock, there's actually just a little bit of grip. It's not crazy grippy, but there is a sort of section of grip at the bottom of it, so it won't slide around as much as it would if it didn't have that. Uh, and let's go ahead, 
Turn this down just a little bit, but press L and R to start, just so you can see some colors, see some actual gameplay going. Looks like it didn't trans, I didn't transfer anything over, so let's just go ahead and start a quick game up. And while it does, I actually want to drop this in the dock carefully. And there we go. I might follow up with some accessories and such for your OLED Nintendo Switch, maybe some screen protectors and more. So keep an eye out for that video. Be sure to subscribe so you're notified when that goes live. Uh, but anyways, here is Super Mario Brothers. Now, while it's running through these screens, I'm noticing that the vibration motor actually does feel a little bit better. Maybe a placebo effect, but it does feel better in my hands overall. And I also wanna make note that the screen is considerably nicer. I do wish they had a 1080p option, but it looks like Nintendo isn't gonna go that route. So at 720p, this looks considerably better than the older Switch. And overall, that is everything I wanna talk about in terms of the OLED Nintendo Switch. Seemed like a, some nice upgrades. There's things I wish it did have that it doesn't, but that's okay. And there's a quick little uh, gameplay. Nice. I kind of forgot the, the actual controls. I'm gonna have to go back and relearn them. I haven't played this game in a long time. But anyways, that is it for now with the new Nintendo OLED Switch. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. Be sure to subscribe as well. A lot more content coming soon. As always, thanks for watching.